<sighs> I am absolutely <laughs> terrified of making this video. I have thought about the way I feel and the way that I've wanted to talk about things for nearly two years on camera. But the last time I got on way too soon on camera after something, it didn't end very well. So I've been trying to wait for the right time and the right words, but that's not a thing. There isn't a right time or the right words. So I'm just going to ramble and I'm just going to share with you guys where my heart is at. Um, the first thing that I want to say is that I'm really sorry. I... <sighs> I feel very embarrassed and frustrated with the way that I've handled things, the way I've talked about things, and mostly the way that I've let down people who really do love, support, and care about me and the kids and the family. I feel like one morning I woke up and I took off running and I haven't stopped. <laughs> Not to make it about me because I'm not the only one in this situation and I'm not the only one with feelings and a side and I get it. So I'm just really sorry for not addressing it, for not saying whether things are true or not, or what portion of things are true or not, for making a video in a time where I showed a side of myself that I, yeah, I didn't even know existed. And I think that led to even more confusion from me and for you guys. So I'm just really sorry. I get that based off of the things that have been said and based off of even things that are true, that maybe I'm not somebody that you resonate with anymore and I'm not somebody that you want to watch or have a part of your life in any way that maybe I was before. I know my breakup was a letdown to a lot of people and I get it. I still feel a lot of guilt and a lot of shame over the fact that it was my choice and the fact that I didn't handle it the way that I should have and the way that I wanted to. To. like I wanted to do it right I, I didn't I, it, I, I look back now and I'm like I literally what was wrong with me like I don't know what I was thinking but I just I turned myself off to be able to handle it and then I forgot to like turn myself back on and then I was just desensitized and I was a bitch and I was emotionless and I heard a lot of people in my life that I really do care about their opinions and this goes for offline too like not just on the internet <sighs> So it's just been really hard, but I do feel as though that part of my life, that chapter is closed to an extent, right? I know it let a lot of you guys down, but I don't think that's where necessarily all the hurt and betrayal comes from. I feel like a lot of the anger and upsetness <laughs> comes from the choice after of me falling in love with my ex-best friend's ex. Now, nothing about this situation as far as him and I go is going to change. We're about to get married. I, I'm very happy. I'm the happiest that I have been in myself and as a human being, but also in a relationship. And... I know that's really hard to come by. I mean, how many people in their lives can say that they're genuinely in relationships that they feel equal in and loved in and they feel love to give in? But I am embarrassed. I I hate that it's him. <laughs> like, I love him and I don't... <laughs> I get nervous to offend anybody that I talk about because I've realized my intentions don't matter. It's how it comes across. And I'm not embarrassed of him. I think he's one of the greatest people to exist. But it doesn't mean that I, I, I'm not embarrassed by this situation. I know it's not right. He knows it's not right. We know it's not right. But what this, it, I mean, it is what it is. We both really bonded and fell in love over being hurt by being the bad guys because both of us were the people who left our relationships and by having nobody because we were both in relationships where not a lot of people on the outside knew was what was going on on the inside and so when those relationships were separated a lot more people were hurt than just the people in the relationship and the person to point the finger at is the person who made the choice right and i'm not making excuses by any means i'm just kind of explaining how we found each other and why i think in my mind it happened so fast because it was just so alone and so helpless and so guilty and sick and numb and all the things and so no i don't wish it happened that way um but I want to move forward and I want to just do a better job about being honest with who I am, expressing my hard times, not worrying about the comments or people taking things the wrong way or taking the truth and then manipulating it into a million other things. I just want to go back to creating content and loving it because I do still love it or trust me, I wouldn't do it, especially with all like with all the people that don't like me. It doesn't really make sense that I keep doing it, but I, I really love it still. I mean, some of the best people I've ever met in my life came from 
doing what I do. Now, all of that being said, I know that me being with him and me having a breakup two years ago is not the only thing that has let people down. There's been comments here and there. There's been lives that I do that upset people. And I also am sorry for those things. Now, not all of those things would I take back because some of them are true or some of them are just me trying to be open, which I I can't help but do. I just need to learn to do it in a more respectful way and a place that doesn't have a lot of emotions behind it because I should know better <laughs> by now in my life that if I'm still feeling hurt or upset, um, I shouldn't be taking to the internet about it, even if it's about the internet. I really care about what I do. I really care about you guys, and I know I've let you down, and I can never stop saying I'm sorry, and I can never... Well, hopefully I can stop feeling um, embarrassed and making myself look like a fool more and more, but I want to move on, and I want this to be the last time that anything is ever talked about when it comes to this because it's been a really long two years and it's not just online for me this is also my real life and so I just am I want to take the right steps and do the right things and make the right choices to get past this that's my TED talk that's where my heart's at I just I want to I want I want happiness and I want it in every aspect of my life and of course now that my personal life is there it's not here and that was one of the favorite parts of my life for so long is you guys. All I can do is take accountability and try to start fresh. But yeah, I really do love you guys and I'm very grateful for you.